Hi there. Um, so today I just want to talk very quickly about how to create a limited color illustration um, and setting up for print in Photoshop. All right, so to start off, uh, what I usually do is I create an illustration um, using two colors in Photoshop. Uh, in this one, you can see that I have two colors and I put it on the color and the texture of the t-shirt that I would like. So you can see that one of my colors is opaque and sits right on top of the t-shirt. And then my second one is set on multiply. And this is hopefully going to be a transparent ink um, that, the, that will sit right on top of the illustration. All right, so first off, we'll look at Pantone colors. So what Pantone colors are is Pantone is a color matching system that uh, is standard, standardized across many different mediums from you know, from printing, uh, you can have it as a separate plate for printing uh, to t-shirts, like which is what we're doing now, uh, to even car colors, um, to ceramic colors. And this ensures like consistency across many media or just a consistency in terms of what the, uh, what the final result will be. Um, a lot of branding, uh, a lot of brands have uh, their Pantone colors, such as Coca-Cola's red or um, Tiffany's sort of uh, uh, aqua color. And then this allows for them to have that same color across many different sort of um, materials. All right, so a Pantone color book can be quite expensive and not everyone has access to it. Uh, so the way we can sort of specify what Pantone colors we want is by first fit completing our design and then afterwards, um, go using the Photoshop color picker tool to find what it considers the nearest match. And then later on, uh, you can, if you have access to the printer, then I suggest going to the printer and just clarifying there uh, to see if the colors match up to what you would like. And then maybe you can either confirm or change it uh, there before you print. So to get started, uh, check choosing a color. Of course, we don't want to see it on our sort of textured background, but we'll want to create a white background, which I've created right here. And then from here, what we want to do is we just want to use our eyedropper tool and then select uh, the color that we want. So in this case, we want this uh, sort of bright pink. And then we're just going to double click on uh, the color. And then here, from here, we're actually going to click on the color libraries and this will find our closest match. So Pantone 231 looks pretty close. Uh, could be in Pantone 232, which is a bit dark. So we'll just stay with Pantone 231 and we'll hit OK. So we'll just change our name now is to Pantone 231C. So C stands for coded and that's the library that we want to use. So let's do the same with our sort of light orange color. So we'll just sort of highlight that color right there and then we'll just double click here. And then on our color libraries, it will we want to choose a Pantone solid coded. Uh, which should be uh, default. And this one, it'll say is Pantone 7401 or 7402. So we can kind of see the difference. Uh, so we'll just go with Pantone 7401, hit OK, and then hit Enter. And, and then that way we can just specify our, our Pantone colors. Now uh, for printers, this will be sufficient. Uh, but if you would like to, we can also change these into different channels, which we'll, we'll do right now. So in our channels panel, we'll just open that up right here. And then we'll just pull, maximize that, and then let's delete these original ones. And then what we'll do is that we will just select all our uh, pixels on, the, on our layer. So just right click, right click, select pixels, and then we're gonna go to our channels panel right there and we're going to add a new channel and then we're going to call this Pantone 231C just like that and then we'll fill it in with uh, should actually be the other direction but we'll just invert it so we'll just fill it in with white and then we'll invert it just like that and then uh, and then if you click on there then you can kind of see how uh, we have like a color right now, just like that. All right, so the next one, uh, we'll just do the exact same thing here. And then we're just gonna select our pixels. And then maybe this time we'll just invert the selection. 
And then uh, we will make a new channel and we'll call this one Pantone 7401C and then we'll just fill it in with white. All right, so there we have it. So now you can see uh, that we kind of have the channels and now we can just change the color to be the appropriate one. So we'll just double click on this one. We'll click on spot color and then we'll click on um, color libraries and then we'll just want two, three, one. So we'll click on that one. Okay. And hit okay. And that should change it. And then same with this one. If we double click it and then it's click spot color and click down here and color libraries, then we'll just choose our appropriate color right there and then hit OK, and that should work out for us. So this way we have our file set up. All right, so if you are to save this as a PDF, then, uh, so just pull down here and Photoshop PDF, and then just hit um, T-shirt Pantone separated, and then hit save, and then it'll just save, and then just stick a high quality print and that'll be fine, and then there we go. And then, uh, and then we'll just take a look in Acrobat. You don't have to do this, not everyone has access to Acrobat, but we'll just take a look. So here we have our file in Acrobat, and I've just uh, opened it up here. And then uh, what I did was that I went into uh, just a different workspace. So, so I just hit more tools, then I'll just scroll down to print production. And I'll click on that one and I'll just open a whole lot of windows that you won't need to know. And then you hit output preview and then you'll just we'll just turn off all these process plates and then you can see that our design is right there with uh, our specified Pantone colors. So um, together that's what our design will look like. And if you turn it off, you'll see what will be printed on the plate. So like this one. There we go. All right, so that's it. Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you again.